Chris Brown is a singer, songwriter, dancer, actor, neck tattoo enthusiast. So naturally, he had to own a true bona fide smart house to complete the 2022 celebrity package. Contrary to the pattern of many celebrities, Chris Brown has lived in the same house for nearly a decade. His humble 8,300 square foot mansion is located in the Tarzana neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley of California. His modest mansion, though technically on the small side for A-listers, cost 4.35 million US dollars when he bought it back in 2014. With a net worth of $50 million, his house was barely a drop in the bucket. The gated property spans for nearly an acre. The house has six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Plenty of room for him and his three kids and whoever else needs to crash. And he spared no expense on luxury or security. The house is armed to the teeth with a state-of-the-art alarm system and 16 security cameras throughout the property. It's no shock to anyone that Chris Brown's house is decked out with luxury amenities. The location itself is a perk. The house is raised above the other homes in the area and surrounded by open space. It's plenty private and it's a gorgeous view of the valley. Each of the six bedrooms comes with at least one large floor-to-ceiling picture window with a view of the valley. Most come with multiple. The style is a mix of modern and nostalgic with white walls, black window hardware and walnut floors and furniture. The simple color palette is surprising considering Brown advertises himself as a graffiti artist. The master bedroom features a king bed and a plush headboard with shelves and sconces. Not to mention entire walls of windows that look out into the desert. The master bath is even more grand and probably the same size as the average bedroom. The floor is covered in sleek, shiny white tile. There's a modern black and white soaking tub and a glass walk-in shower. There's also a massive vanity that's longer than the tub. This washroom also features walls of windows and a door that opens out onto a private balcony. The rest of the bathrooms are more moderately sized with black modern vanities, chrome hardware and glass walk-in showers. Still plenty big, just not big enough to fit a studio apartment. There are multiple common areas throughout the property. Inside, there is a living room with a large, cozy sectional couch and a big screen TV. There's also a family room with a fireplace and a pair of love seats. Both pale in comparison to the home theater, outfitted with huge recliners and surround sound speakers. Though he hasn't added chef to his roster yet, Chris Breezy has a pretty sweet kitchen. The floor is covered in white square tiles and the three-seater island and countertops are all black marble. The cabinets and drawers are all black with chrome hardware, and there's no shortage of them. You could store half a Whole Foods in this man's pantry. Like the rest of the house, there's a huge window that lets in tons of natural light. We might actually like doing dishes with a view like that above the sink. And when it's time to eat, there's a formal dining room between the living room and kitchen. It features a huge walnut table and eight high back upholstered chairs. And although it's not really an amenity, the house does have a really cool white twisted staircase with a black wrought iron railing. It's a mix of whimsical and modern that fits with the rest of the house. Plus, it's not hard to imagine one of Chris's friends trying to ride down it on a skateboard. Outside is where the real fun is. Though from above, it looks a little crazy. The house has two fairly large patches of grass, but they cut off really sharply when they hit the desert. For anyone who's seen the sprinkler scene in A Cinderella Story with Hilary Duff, it looks like that. It's striking how green his property is compared to the surrounding area. Apparently, Chris Brown doesn't do droughts. In addition to a green lawn, his house also has a big saltwater swimming pool and jacuzzi. The hot tub has a waterfall that flows into a larger pool. And in the center, there's a Baja shelf where sun loungers can sit. He even added a basketball court with LED lights going all around it. If basketball was one of the obstacles in Tron, this is what it would look like. This is also a popular hangout during Chris's notorious parties. For added seating, there are multiple lounge areas around the yard. One is under an overhang with couches, a fire pit, a bar, and a dining table. Then there's a second area with comfy chairs, a second fire pit, and lounges right by the pool. Every spot comes with a view, and in some photos, right by the bar, you can see one of Chris's graffiti pieces. If you walk around the house, you step onto a brick driveway that leads to Brown's 13-bay garage. 
That's where he stores his collection of luxury vehicles, quad bikes, and motorcycles. But it also holds a very special collection, his shoes. Chris Brown is a true sneakerhead, to the point where he needed to build display racks in his garage to fit all of them. For reference, he posted a picture of himself casually eating Apple Jacks in front of the sneakers, as well as his ultra-rare purple Lamborghini Aventador SV. Meanwhile, we've been eating cereal at a table all this time, like a bunch of lunatics. It won't surprise anyone to know that the luxuries of Brown's house don't stop at the shoe shed. In addition to being luxurious, the mansion is also very intelligent. Don't worry, the house isn't alive, but it is wired with a smart house system. This technology controls things like retractable glass walls, fireplaces and lights. Not to mention the entire house is run on solar energy, which makes it double smart. Props to Chris. His grasp may be a waste of water, but he balances it by using solar power. We can't think of a more positive byproduct of a drought. The graffiti on Chris Brown's house is way too loud not to mention it. Almost the entire exterior is covered in his artwork. The style is bold, colorful, and airs on the side of wacky. He shares photos of his work on his social media, and it was featured in the video for his song Go Crazy with Young Thug. One of his most prominent pieces decorates a wall that's very visible to the neighborhood. Bright pink, purple, and sky blue tones come together to create what he described as a mashup of Freezer from Dragon Ball Z and Predator from Predator. Admittedly, the pieces are very cool and definitely stand out in the affluent neighborhood. Fans of Dragon Ball Z would probably be stoked to have this on their wall. Unfortunately, the neighborhood was less than impressed. Law enforcement has stated that Brown is a chronic problem who takes up a tremendous amount of their resources with complaints from neighbors. These range from loud noise to drug use to ATV joyrides. His street art even got him in trouble with the law once. He spray painted what looks like a band of demented cookie monsters on his Hollywood Hills home. The neighbors got upset and authorities ordered him to remove it. Does vandalism count if you do it to yourself? Though the people on his block aren't big fans of his decorating choices, spray painting his house is probably the least destructive thing he's done to the neighborhood. Chris is famous for parties. But the most unique event to occur at the singer's house was a run-of-the-mill yard sale. Or at least it would have been run-of-the-mill for the average person. Celebrities, however, aren't usually in the habit of putting their address on a flyer and distributing it to the public. But that didn't stop Chris Breezy. In November 2019, Brown hosted a two-day, first-come, first-served sale at his Tarzana mansion. The flyer advertised significantly marked down high and designer items as well as his home address. Brown also posted the flyer to social media with THE CRIB in all caps as the caption. What other info do you need? The line for the sale formed hours in advance and stretched several blocks from the cul-de-sac where Chris's house sits. The crowd was a mixture of press, fans and bargain hunters. The queue was surprisingly ordered for such an informal event. Though that might have had something to do with the food trucks providing grub for the patient shoppers. Revolt Festival should take notes. Overhead footage of the event showed a dozen white tents in the cul-de-sac. Beneath them were racks and tables loaded with clothes and shoes. And there truly were some good deals. People were leaving with armfuls of stuff. The first customer to come out gave the lowdown on the sale to a group of reporters. He said he picked up some vintage Tommy Hilfiger, vintage Nikes, Supreme and limited edition Dunks. That's a huge haul for under $500. He said he didn't see Chris at the event, but there was plenty of items for everyone in the line to get something, and that there was free ice cream. It's unclear why Chris set up this sale. The flyer wasn't exactly informative, and we've yet to find the hidden meaning in the crib. We can't imagine he was low on cash. Maybe he was taking a page from Marie Kondo and getting rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Considering his expansive collection, we're pretty sure he could stand to lose a few limited edition sneakers. Chris Brown turned out to be even more eccentric than we thought. Props to Lil Dicky for surviving a day in the life. Even so, his version of home is amazingly colorful. From the walls all the way down to his $580,000 Lambo. Stay breezy.